In the age of COVID-19, it has become imperative for one to protect themselves from the transmission of the disease. The primary method by which this is done is, of course, the face mask. However, there remain many problems plaguing it yet. For starters, 76% of Americans think that face masks are uncomfortable or that they do not fit properly, something which may lead to a refusal to wear masks and thus an endangerment of public health. Furthermore, due to the severe shortage of protective equipment, thousands of nurses and doctors are forced to wear inadequate surgical or cloth masks rather than proper N95 masks, something putting them at high risk and causing the needless infection of many. Solutions such as PPE masks have been brought up, which undoubtedly offer a high level of protection, but they are single use, making them very costly for poor regions as well as the environment. This is where my mask comes in. My mask uses state-of-the-art facial recognition technology in order to produce a personalized, comfortable, and sustainably produced mask frame via 3D printing. Mask frames are unique in that they provide support to the existing structure of a mask, sealing holes and thereby limiting exposure. They are also very cost efficient, being able to be printed out for under a quarter per frame and very little plastic. However, getting a personalized mask frame required a long scanning test and is not widely available. My mask, on the other hand, is scalable, requiring only 14 minutes per print. It's sustainable, requiring a very small amount of plastic or any other polymer material, fully personalized, and high accuracy, producing comfortable and efficient mask frames. To begin using my mask, the first step is to take a picture of yourself. Try to have good lighting and make sure your face is in focus, as that will improve the accuracy of the analysis model. Next, upload the image onto our website, along with your name and email for the final mask file. After the user inputs their name, email, and an image of their face, this image is sent to our servers where we use Soda ML models in order to process it and generate a mask frame. The processing takes 10 seconds, after which the STL file is downloaded to the person's computer. Now, may you ask, how is this all done? The first step is to convert the customer's image to grayscale, thereby reducing the image from a 500x500x3 tensor to a 500x500 matrix. Next. Our model performs object detection and facial landmarking using DLib and OpenCV. Then, we calculate approximate distance between the landmark points using one's lips as a measuring factor, and finally draw a map on the face which corresponds to said landmarks. We are then able to give the user a direct download link to the STL file which contains their mask. My mask endeavors to prevent the loss of countless lives from inadequate mask usage through an easy, cost-efficient method of mask cream production thereby allowing all, regardless of income or knowledge of technology, to protect themselves in this dire time. Thank you.